Hey everyone, what up? Luke here from Wet Tech Review. Here with the review of the new Mac App Store. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to open up the Mac App Store, which is this little icon down here. And when you open up the Mac App Store, it'll look like this. The Mac App Store came out about two weeks ago, right before CES. And so far, it's been growing in size ever since it started, and it actually has some really nice apps. And the Mac App Store has apps ranging from really expensive to free. If I go to something like Rapid Weaver, so you want to make a website with Rapid Weaver or a blog or something, this will cost you $40. While if you go to something like Trillion, Trillions free. So this Mac, Mac App Store really ranges in prices, but it offers everything you might want for your Mac. It offers things like App Store 3 for photos, it has Twitter, Call of Duty, a game called Braid, it has the whole iLife suite, and it, it bunches everything in one little place. Kind of similar to the Ubuntu Software Center that I reviewed earlier and it just offers a bunch of things since it is just starting out it doesn't offer a super extensive library of apps like their app store does but over time it should grow with more and more apps but just to go over the interface a little this is your feature page like what you might see in iTunes if you're looking at apps or something and in this section you have your new and noteworthy so you have things like uh, Socialite, which is a social networking application where you can connect to things like Twitter, Facebook, things like that. You also have games like Let's Golf 2 HD. On the sides you have your quick links, you have your top paid apps like Angry Birds, iPhoto, and I'll show you some of those games in a minute, and apps. And we also have What's Hot, so we have things like Pixelator, Bejeweled, Top Free, app favorites and other things like that and basically this is almost exactly like the app store because you have your top charts and you have your categories where you can go into different categories like business health and fitness music productivity and then these two tabs are your purchased apps and updates so really it's a really simple interface at the top you just have these five buttons to search and back and forth arrows and you can find almost anything you want. Down here I have some of the apps I've downloaded and we have things like Angry Birds, Braid, Flight Control HD, Sketchbook Express, virtual, and Virtual City. And all of these are games except for Sketchbook Express. But let's try Angry Birds. So it does kind of look like a big iPad or iPhone game. And you can hear the game. Okay, let's turn. I'll just turn off the audio real fast. And it's really simple to do. And I forgot to mention one of the best parts of the store is it'll sync all your apps between your different Mac computers. So I bought this game on my MacBook Pro, but I'm playing it on my iMac because I can re-download it, which is a really nice feature. Well, um, right now I'm using the Magic Trackpad, so I don't even have to press anything. I can just drag my finger back, and it'll fire the bird off. And it's really responsive and easy to use. And I can just hit the Escape and go back to the menu. And these games work really well. They download really fast. You can send things like Twitter, Facebook, and it works as how you would expect it to work. Everything's really snappy. And each of these games are really fun. And you can just find anything you would want in here. Social networking, you can find things. And even though I'd like to see more apps out, it has just started. So it is a new thing. But I see like more software coming in future updates. And it looks just really nice and it's simple to use. So I hope you all try it out. This is in the 10.6.6 .6 Mac software update if you'd like to try it out. 
And remember to read our full review and others at wettechreview.blogspot.com. And you can email us any reviews you'd like us to do, or if you'd like to send us anything to review at wettechreview at gmail.com. And please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. See you next time.